Hello and welcome back to Delicious Nook. I am Ka. Today I will be making a very popular Hawaiian snack called musubi. This is a very simple but yet delicious snack, so if you're interested, please stay tuned and let's get started. These are the ingredients you will need. To get started, I'm going to measure about 4 cups of uncooked rice into the rice cooker bowl. Pour some water into the rice. You want to wash the rice, then drain the water. Repeat the steps two to three times. Once you wash the rice, you want to go ahead and level the rice, and then you want to pour in the water. I'm leveling the rice, and to measure the amount of water, I'm using the first line on my index finger. The tip of your fingers needs to touch the top of the rice. Continue to pour water until you've reached the first line of the index finger. Insert the bowl back into the rice cooker and then press cook. Crack the four eggs into a small bowl. Take the fork and whisk the eggs until well mixed. Pour some oil into a large frying pan. Once the oil gets hot, pour half of the eggs into the frying pan. Try to spread the eggs evenly in the pan. Make sure to cook the eggs low to medium heat and continue to cook the eggs until you're ready to flip the eggs over. Try spreading the eggs out as evenly as possible. Spread the egg sheets onto a cutting board. I have a musubi mold that I'm going to use to cut out the egg sheets. Tear off the excess and save them for snacks later. Repeat this step and stack the cut out egg sheets until you have 8 slices. Remove the spam meat from the container. You may have to squeeze and tap the container to get the Spam out. Turn the Spam the long way. Then you want to cut the Spam in half. Cut 4 slices from each half. You should have a total of 8 slices. To make the sauce in a small bowl, Mix the sugar, the soy sauce, and the oyster sauce. Mix the sauce until well combined and set aside. In a large frying pan, pour in some oil and set your temperature to about medium. Once the oil is heated through, Go ahead and put in the slices of Spam into the frying pan. Allow the Spam slices to cook on one side for about a minute. Then flip them over and allow the other side to brown as well. Once the Spam has browned on both sides, pour in the sauce mixture. You need to mix and coat both sides with the sauce. Continue cooking until most of the sauce has been absorbed. Remove the Spam slices onto a plate or platter and set aside. Take out 4 nori sheets from the packaging and fold them in half to break them. You can then easily rip them apart. Here again, I'm showing you how I tear them apart. Once you are done, you should have 8 pieces. To assemble with the rough side up, place the musubi mode in the center of the nori sheet. 
Scoop a small amount of cooked rice into the mold and spread evenly. Using the mold press, press the rice down firmly and then remove the press. Next, add in the spam slice and then add in the egg slice. Scoop another small amount of rice to top. Press down firmly with the mold press. While you're pressing down the mold press, lift the mold up and out and then remove the press. Fold the nori sheet closest to you and press firmly while rolling the rice filling to the other end of the nori sheet. And there you have it, your delicious musubi. Once again, place the mold in the center of the nori sheet. Scoop a small amount of rice into the mold and spread evenly. Using the mold press, press the rice down firmly and then remove the press. Next, add in the spam slice. Then add in the egg slice. And then top with another scoop of rice. Press down firmly with the mold press. While you're pressing down the mold press, lift the mold up and out and then remove the press. Fold the nori sheet closest to you and press firmly while rolling the rice filling to the other end of the nori sheet. Repeat until done. You can cut the musubi in half or keep them whole. My son loves these snacks. It's so fulfilling and so delicious. I will include the written recipe and directions down in the description box below. I hope you give this recipe a try and if you do, please comment below. Please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!